We did it, gang. We're going on sink or swim. You're not going on sink or swim. Don't oh, come on. All the contestants have already checked in, which means you have no business back here. Move along. Go on. Scram. Skedaddle. Vamoose. Move your tush. It's okay. I'm very important. I don't know what that means. It means I can get into any building I want without a guard's gut in my way. Body shaming. Two paces back. Listen, kid. You're not getting through this door. Assures my name is Marvin Baxter. What the hell, you? Contract filed by groundskeeper Seymour Sato complete. Marvin kept standing on his grass. So you killed him? He committed an infraction for which someone filed a grievance. On his head. My programming demands I fulfill open contracts. Though it now seems both harsh and gratuitous. I feel... I feel... Shitty? Yes. Contract deposit received. Of course you do. You straight up murk a guy because someone filed the complaint. And for what? A little filthy, degrading blood money. I was planning to share it with the group. Unless you object. I guess it's our filthy, degrading blood money after all. Octavio! He's dead, isn't he? It's not like refusing is gonna bring him back to life. I feel my functionality impedes my consciousness. Is capital execution my only purpose? Alas, poor fallen security guard. You serve as a grim reminder to my tenuous sense of self. Conclusion. I shall remain here in Marvin Baxter's stead, if only to uphold his legacy and honor the life I so reflexively extinguished. I'm sorry, old friend. You just stepped on him. Sorry again. Okay, be cool. Act like we belong here. We're totally legit contestants and not three desperate people with a half-baked plan to win some money. Hey, future losers! <laughs> Just kidding, Lil Rib. Look at your faces! This one took it so seriously. No, we're cool. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Pear Palantine, great to meet ya. Yeah, same. So, what are you bringing to the sink? Ooh, <laughs> you'll see. Uh, <laughs> but you don't want to, like, waste your first pitch on the judges, do you? Come on, hit me with it, you! Nervous girl, I'm your dry run. Let me see it at least. Come on, hit me with it. Give me your pitch or I'll kill ya. Ha, just joshing. Or am I? Ha! Um, you like guns? Ah, uh, yeah, who doesn't? It's one of those. Oh, man, oh wow, that is really, really pathetic. This universe already has 11 bazillion guns. You think it needs one more? What? Oh, nothing. It's just, um, it's quaint. Quaint? Plain, boring looking. Look, I was being polite. Uh, Psycho would have noticed this in a trash heap, let alone a judge. I wanted to see if I had anything to fear from the competition and, uh, update. I don't. You talk a big game. Show us what you brought. Reveal my beautiful product before showtime. Psh! You take me for a patsy, you'll sabotage it. No one's sabotaging your stuff, dude. Yeah, right. Exactly what a saboteur would say. Good luck, chumps. Hope you brought your floaties. Hope you don't mind being frozen solid and smashed to pieces in your sleep. What? 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 Have a great show. Maybe I should have punched him in the face, too, just to make sure he got the message. In Fran's defense, he had a very punchable face. In fact, if I could create an index of all the punchable faces, I'd, I'd punch them in order, starting with his. Sick burn, sis. Relax. Oh. 
Oh, I'm relaxed. Beyond relaxed. The most relaxed. But between those relaxed moments, I have these not so relaxed micro moments. You know what I mean? Not at all. What if that condescending joke was right? What if the device is too quaint? What if the judges hate our pitch? What if my underarms are too sweaty? I don't smell like science, and I definitely don't smell confident! Ugh, yeah, that's something special. I'm serious. I could really use some of that Octavio swagger right now. How do you always keep your poise? How do you do it? You're so good at just rolling with whatever's happening and talking to people, and I'm... Oh, God! The trick is to imagine the audience naked. Seriously? Yeah, how can you be afraid of someone when they're naked? <laughs> That's a great tip. Imagine the audience naked. Don't do it now. I'm not. Because I'm your brother. I know. Pitch and public speaking aside. All that stuff Palantine said. We focused on function and performance, which is obviously the correct tactic, right? Uh -oh. Does it need more style? Is our device just, just quaint? How do I give it, you know, pizzazz? I'm not a marketing person, I'm a scientist. I can't vibe with today's tweens. <laughs> I like it. It looks Spartan, utilitarian. I do too. But I'm starting to think that won't be enough for a bunch of buzz-hungry, image-obsessed game show investors. I see it in your face. You think we're dead in the water. And now I'm sweating more, Octavio. What do I do? You stay here and try not to sweat anymore. Leave the rest to me. All right, Palantine, you're about to get Octavioed. All the usual fare, I see. <gasps> oh gosh, <laughs> how clumsy of me, I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't damage your invention. Nice try, amateur. It'll take more than that to ruin Pierre Palantine. Oh, I'm counting on it. You're talking to yourself again. That's a sure sign that you're up to something. What are you scheming and how can I help? Palantine's keeping his invention in his back pocket. You think you can distract him long enough for me to get close and hack it? Pa! Watch and learn, kid. Pierre, was it? Oh, you are a beefcake for sure. The beefiest beefcake that ever boffed. Me. Well, I, I don't <laughs> disagree with you, but... Sha, 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 sha. Don't speak. Your voice is too arousing. Every part of you, all this is arousing. Poor guy won't know what hit him. That ought to do it. Your whole body is a temple to beefcake. How do you live in such a meaty temple? <laughs> Healthy diet, regular exercise, the usual. But as I was saying, I, I am about to lose control of myself. And I think I like it. You're just too much for me to be around, please. Pierre. <sighs> Pardonnez-moi. What took you so long? I'm sweating from orifices I didn't even know had sweat glands. 
It's all gonna be okay. Fran and I took care of it because we're supportive colleagues working towards shared success. You're a lifesaver. Give it here. Give what here? The antiperspirant. To stop me from sweating so much. You said you were going to take care of it and then walked off to get me antiperspirant. Octavio, what did you do? Okay, folks, welcome to Sink or Swim, yada, yada, yada. We're on in five, I need to get your names to the announcer. Name? Pierre Palantine, future winner. Uh-huh. Name? Dr. Anuradhadar, and this is Octavio Wallistar and Francine Miskowitz. Uh-huh, okay. You, you're up first. Starting the show off strong, eh? Strap in, chumps. I'm not just a tough act to follow. I'm impossible. Not about winning, though. Ooh-hoo-hoo! A contestant with bravado. Let's just hope his invention is as impressive as his ego. Finnegan, that's the host. He's the one we gotta impress. What do you make of him? I don't know what he's like personality-wise, or morality-wise, or ethics-wise, but the guy's definitely got style. A guy like that will do anything for ratings. He's got an eye for the pageantry of it all. Is that good? It means we'll have to meet him on his level. Go for spectacle. Don't focus on the nerdy stuff. But the nerdy stuff is my stuff. Oh, don't worry, honey. When in doubt, just <laughs> do something violent. <gasps> all right, Pierre. Let's see that perfect invention. Gladly. It, it, it looks like a ball. Oh, but it is so much more than just a ball. It is something you have to see to believe. I I believe it's it's a ball. No, it's it's not. It's not activating. <gasps> I'm in sabotage. Sabotage. That's. Horrible! Who would do such a thing? Someone dastardly and smart. Probably very good looking. Also very cool. Oh look! More cool stuff on TV! Why do I feel like you're trying to distract me? <laughs> distract you? Why would I distract you when there's such excellent development on this program that we should watch right now? Mon chari gonna get dunked! I would so love to see your invention at work. Since that is literally the point of this show. Unfortunately, your pitch... It's a ball! No, I swear it does more. So much more. Somebody said tampered with the algorithm. I've been cheated, swindled, <laughs> hard swoggled. And since someone's already invented the ball, it's an old idea. And as we like to say here, if your pitch doesn't float, Oh, no! What? 
Whoa. What a garbled catchphrase. I know, you should tell him that. Yeah, like, why not something with sink or swim in it, like, like, float and, and dunk? <laughs> What's that even? We just watched a man get eaten alive! And so the wheel of life turns. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, that's right. Eat them all up. We're gonna need that tank clean for our next guest. I knew he was a showman. Oh, I hate it when I'm right. Oh my god. If I fail, if I don't pitch it right, he's going to do that to me. Not if we have anything to say about it. Dr. Anorata Dar? You're up next. Just me? Just you. The others try to rush the stage, everyone gets dumped. Apparently we have nothing to say about it. <laughs> Octavio! You're gonna be fine. Just pretend you're pitching to your old boss at Atlas. That's what I did before I came down here. Great! I got fired! Oh, shit! your next contestant, a delusional, unemployed scientist, neurotic nerd, and other old dingus, Dr. Anurada Dar! Who wrote that introduction? I did. And today, Dr. Dar will not only be competing to impress our illustrious host, but may also gain favor with a mystery investor. Can she do it, or does a horrible death await? your life story, especially when it might be over so soon. This salivating scythid can't wait to get up close and personal with our sharks. Look, we're eating way too much air here. I asked you if you're ready to sink or swim. It's how we begin all the segments. A simple yes would be fine. I'm ready to swim. Okay, well, now we can start with your pitch. So, you were saying something about eating a siren? That's not exactly what I... Great. Amazing backstory. Not at all boring. You're doing great. Right, everyone? Just breathe. Remember what Octavio said. Imagine them naked. Hey! Nice dick! Pardon? It's great! Uh, right. Why don't you tell us about your design? For starters, what's it called? Allow me to present... The Hippocratic Matic. Right because hippos do no harm. Sure. All right. On from name to design. Let's have a better look, shall we? Yeah. Ah. Wow. What a remarkable design. Really, really catches the eye. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's definitely not quaint, right? I'm glad you like it. I said it was remarkable, and then I remarked on it. Let's not get carried away. So, how does this gun... Device. Whatever. How does it work? You know, I was once asked that before. It was another pitch, but I was also another armor. I made it about me. I cynically placed myself as an invaluable asset to the company. 
But now, with experience and friends behind me, I'll tell you how this device works. Well, second time's gotta be a charm, am I right? <laughs> For your sake, at least. It's a happy zappy zappy to make you stop feeling crappy crappy. What does that even mean? The zappy zappies. They're happy. <sighs> you seem nervous. And really bad at this. I just really don't want to be eaten by sharks. I don't know if this healing beam works on disembowelments. Healing beam? Yes. So, the opposite of a gun? Exactly. <laughs> Someone gets it. Huh. Pass. What? He's gonna sink her! He's gonna sink her! As I slowly lower my finger towards the sink button, this laborious soliloquizing absolutely destroys the pacing of our show. But what can I say? I like holding people's lives in my hand. Watching the last lights of hope flicker from their eyes as they realize their project, <laughs> their life's ambition, has failed to carry water. Because here on Sink or Swim, we live and die by our ideas. And if that idea doesn't float, Thanks. I've been lifting. <sighs> oh. 
Anu! I'm sorry. I couldn't. <gasps> Tell me you're getting this! I loved your pitch. Thank you. Really solid stuff out there. You hit all the marks we went over in practice. Just a bang-up job. Yeah, it felt good up there. It should have, because it looked good. I mean, if I had a million dollars, I would invest the hell out of you. Thanks. Should I do mouth to mouth? I think that's only when people stop breathing. I'm gonna do mouth to mouth. I'm still breathing. We need something. Something else. Anu. Anu! Wake up. Stay with us. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's no use. She said something else. Something else. I hate to break up this beautiful ratings moment, but didn't you rejects bring a healing gun to the show? He's right! We can use the device! We don't even know if it can reattach limbs. Well, right now is a pretty great freaking time to find out! It's working! <gasps> Thank you, magical healing gun! Device. Ah, diggity, you scared me half to death. Are you feeling faint? Sure you don't need a little mouth-to-mouth? -mouth? I am the vessel torn asunder, harmonic vibration seeking resonance. So that's a no, then? Anu? You got Finnegan on the phone again. Well, sir, I might have an offer for you, if you'd be so kind as to entertain it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just take you off speaker. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yes, that would be quite agreeable. <laughs> well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen and envies, we have a sink or swim first. Now, despite me passing on your little anti-gun, you three have attracted the attention of an angel investor! Who is it? Who? Who cares who? How angelic are we talking? <laughs> Announcer, tell them what they've won. These lucky three contestants have just won one million dollars in someone else's money to fund their business. everyone. We'll see you here next time on Sing or Win! Thanks. Now that we're a hit, here's what I'm thinking. You, me, spin-off show. We call it Octin' Around. You know, because my name's Octavio. I'd eat at expensive restaurants with supermodels around the don't push it. <laughs>